<laughs> yeah, man, it's chaos, and we're getting it. Got that three-game win streak over 11,000 BC. So we're looking for foe, and we're on with the spells. The spells. Fierce Lion 3, Master. He's from Strong Island. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna pick the Cavs or the Warriors. Watch. Yo, come on, pick a real team, bro. Yo, pick a real team. If I'm keen, I can't control this. Let's be friends and pick a real team. Let's be friends? Milwaukee, that's who we want. Or the Celtics, that's who we want. We want the Trailblazers, the Bucks, or Celtics. I'm learning for your love. Yeah, let's get it, yo. Do it up in the Brutus Cup. Yo, add me as a friend. gonna be a battle right here oh man we've been waiting to face Boston for a while we played Toronto last game we played the Thunder the game before that I always love that Celtic team with Jeff Green. Love that shit. The rush, the alleys with all those old heads. It's the Celtics from Boston who find themselves right, let's have a good on one. Let's the road get it. here today for an interconference battle. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to uh, 2K Sports to as we get set to bring you some terrific NBA action. I'm Kevin Harlan, and here with me today, Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. A quick check now for starting lineups for both teams. And a guy's checking out Tony Parker here. What can we expect? And here's another thing about him, Steve. Every time he gets his hands on the ball in the backcourt, he's a one-man fast break. It's out on the road tomorrow as the Spurs wrap up this home stretch. Come on, Daniel. Yeah, you know, it's really tough what they're going through right now. The situation they're in, doubt starts to creep uh, up. That's Especially me. as the losses mount. And that just makes them as a team more okay. and more vulnerable. Okay. You know, you're right on point with that, Clark. I mean, the team chemistry does come into question. You have to wonder whether or not the players have started to tune the coaches out. Oh, so bad, they though. just look completely disjointed out on the floor. You know, it's always nice to get the easy look inside from your first points of the game. It always seems to settle you down when you have oh, some early success in the post. Now we'll go to DB, who had a chance to talk with head coach Brad Steven. Doris? Yes, Kevin, the crucial aspect for them in his mind is going to be making things tough inside for their opponent. He said they're physical, they like to mix it up. If we don't respond in kind, they'll push us around and we'll get bullied all game. Get that fucking rebound, Thanks Aldridge. again, Doris. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Brown fires. Can't connect from 14 feet out. In transition, here come the Spurs. Leonard's got the ball. And Powell Gasol, the bucket what? on the assist by Parker. Right. Gasol's got himself on the board with three there. You know, what an advantage he brings to this offense, guys. I mean, being able to drain the three ball, that really can spread a defense and extend the defense as well. Now, here's Horford. He's been producing a fair amount of offense night in and night out as he's averaging 14 points a game. Oh! Just five to shoot. That's tipped. And stolen by Aldridge. It's deflected. Here's the break. Here's Zeller. The big dunk at the end of the break. Whoa, quick hands <laughs> on the steal and then just mad hops on the slant. Great sequence for them defensively and so Clark offensively. Well, one usually leads to the other, Kevin. That's just good, aggressive, attacking basketball at both ends. There's Parker with the three. The rebound the by rebound, the Celtics. Gasol. Victory eluded them last time in San Antonio when they took on the Spurs. 
Randley kicks to Brown. And That's good cash, in the basket. Money. What the fuck are you doing out there? That is a very low percentage shot, Kevin, but it's the result they were looking for at the end of the day. Parker dishes to Green. In the foul on Avery Bradley. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Leonard, the pass to Gasol. Ice ball boomed by San Antonio. And here's Green outside. Offensive rebound. <laughs> he, found all look at the hoop. he doesn't miss many of those. Bradley drives in. No good with the layup. I, I still can't believe that one didn't fall. Here's Gasol. That's good. And it's oh, shit. Wait, that was a fucking two? Are you serious? Yeah, Gasol has got five points so far. Up. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Oh. Thomas kicks to Bradley. And he's good on the three ball. Bradley's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Green against Bradley. Green kicks to Gasol. Puts it up from 12. Another one falls for San Antonio. Just such a good shooter from that range. And you factor in his height advantage. It's almost unfair. Oh. And Leonard with the block. Uncovered. Uh, come on, Kawhi. You gotta get that. Well, I think like the defense doing? got lucky right there. I mean, he's gonna make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. Outside, Thomas. From outside, off the mark. This game for the Celtics, it was a loss to Cleveland. And guys, just look at the turnover stats in that game. You're not going to win giving it up as many times Man, as they did. Not in the left. Play an even tougher brand of defense on your end and force more turnovers for the other side. That's the only way you're going to get that thing squared away. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. Moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. Have a up, yeah, They just brought a team, Kevin, that was in a zone. And they didn't have the manpower defensively to disrupt them. Hey, zone or no zone, I expected a little more fight out of them than what they showed. I mean, they never strung together any stops like they needed to. If not, it was them. What if you had them fuck them? Nah, I'm just kidding. Just kidding? Some changes for Boston. Kelly Olynyk checked in for Horford. Johnson comes in for Tyler Zeller. And Yurebko is subbed in for Brown. Spare. That one is off. Oh, come on, seriously? Come on, Kawhi. And he sinks Girl the second. Cat. A minute 42 left oh, here in the Bear first quarter. Ah! As the playoffs near, let's take a look at the there Eastern Conference standings. Taking a look at Boston. And you know what else, Steve? Watching him run the pick and roll is like watching poetry in motion. I mean, this guy has that basic play down pat. He's unstoppable when he runs. What are you doing out standing out of bounds? Out of bounds. Making a long pass like that is always a risky proposition. For Boston, they've gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Offensive rebound. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you shouldn't miss. Mark a lot of give and take between these sides early. Kevin, how about six lead changes in this half already? Yeah, and both teams look like they came to play. We should have a good one. And here is Ginobili, and uh, right now he's averaging about seven points a game, and that one's good, Parker. And that's what you want to see, good fundamental sound basketball with the bounce pass. Here's your red card. Master Smart lets the free fly. It's rebounded by Leonard. San Antonio's gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. 
Virginus. And usually he leaves those to his teammates. And you know, guys, with his length, I think he needs to attack the basket much more. Those dunks should be routine for him. So that's a problem he has. I mean, not being able to knock down that open jump. It happens far too often. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. <laughs> Guys, this one is threatening to get really ugly. And the shot is good. Rogier's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Olenek with the steal. From past the arc. And out of bounds as the Spurs in possession. This <laughs> fair. It could go. Ah, no. Nope. And there's the horn. We've seen some good defense. Up. Doesn't make sense. And we welcome you back to the NBA here on 2K Sports. And we're ready to get going once more. The players having a chance to have a short break and get some rest themselves and get refueled. Come on, Daniel. Random with some Daniel. Video. More terrific basketball in store for us tonight. And take a look at San Antonio's performance here. What do you think they've been doing or not doing? I just like the way they're getting out in the open floor, taking advantage of all those fast break chances here early on. I agree with you, Greg. I mean, they can run, and they've done a good job filling the lanes in transition. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the floor. Whoa! Down out there, Tyler Zeller. That's fucking fast. Isaiah Thomas. That's Thomas. That's fucking jam. Grant. And it's Horford in at the five. Down low. Brown, he's covered by Leonard. He hits Brown with the drive. Back to Thomas. Six on the shot clock. And it's sent back by Aldridge. In transition, here come the Spurs. On deep. Oh, cannot hit. Come on, now Aldridge. The take it the other way. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Harford's got the ball. And the Spurs pushing it up now. Oh, how do you miss that? Brown outside. <laughs> and the foul call on Kawhi Leonard. Come on. And that is his first foul of the game. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because you want the ref in that situation. If there's any doubt, here on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. San Antonio said, calls it should have been a block. He saw some things that just weren't working for them and wants to make some adjustments. Yeah, and no reason to wait around to do that, Greg. I mean, you might as well make those adjustments right away. Really some changes for Boston. Amir Johnson's checked in for Tyler Zeller. Yurevko comes in for Brown. And Marcus Smart is up in for Avery Bradford. So they take the lead. Thomas got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. The call will go against Yurevko. That's his first foul. First team foul. Second quarter of basketball. Nice. Goes over played. If this has been a thriller, you cannot say enough about the way these two teams have competed. All indications, Greg, are that this game is going down to the wire. I mean, I'd be surprised, actually shocked, if it ended any other way. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Yeah, Greg, you know, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is just not there. And know of too many other players who are as solid as he is in the low post. Just watch how many times he'll get his man to go for his fate and leave his feet. He gets him up in the air and takes advantage of it. It's Thomas outside. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. Why don't we take this chance now to show you the most active wing defenders in the league. These are this season's steals leaders at small forward. In the third spot, Kawhi Leonard. I mean, if you're an opposing small forward, this could also be called a list of the league's most annoying players. I mean, there you go. That's
That's in New Jersey all night when you're up against them. Greg, they are an elite group of defenders. I mean, they don't just make it difficult for opposing small forwards. They pester entire teams with their activities, jumping in the passing lanes, being active with their hands and feet. Very impressive defensively. Here's Parker. Marcus Smart picking up that last basket. Parker takes to Gasol. Asks to Alden. No good. Get the fuck good in work there, defensively Aldridge. by Horford. Draw the no foul, one dude. to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. Here's your Rupko. Nice D from Aldridge. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. They get it back. Gasol dishes to Green. Parker outside. There's a whistle, and it goes on Isaiah Thomas. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's his second personal foul. If he gets another, it probably puts him on the bench for the rest of the first half. Now here is Aldridge. He has six. And guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run, don't you think? Clark with the hoop for him there. Momentum can swing on plays like that, Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on it. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Spurs. All trades. They're playing with a frenetic pace, putting a lot of pressure on the ball handlers and forcing turnover. Another big aspect of their game tonight has been the fast break transition opportunity. They're really keeping it up tempo so far. So the Celtics called timeout. They're first. Some changes for Boston. Tyler Zellers checked in for Johnson. Brown comes in for Yurepko. And it's Avery Bradley in for Marcus Smart. Back to Brown. Zeller passes to Thomas. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck to be here. It's just not his night. Zeller, Aldridge is covering. Thomas kicks to Zeller. Back to Thomas. Outside Brandon. Launches a three. They grab their own miss. Spurs leading by five. Leonard attacking. And he goes up strong with one hand. Pushes it down. Well played right there. I mean, there's no question who has the momentum. Greg, the lead appears to be heading north, if you will. And he gets it to go. Well, they're absolutely stroking it from outside. I mean, textbook perfect. Good balance, nice high release, splash. Back to Alder. Passes it to Green. Oh, good with the triple. Come on, Randall McDaniel. Kevin, I like that defensive effort at all, but they're lucky he missed it. Yeah, you hope oh, that's, that's a big block. The type of D they're going to play because if they do, they're going to have struggles with him tonight. Here's Parker. He puts up decent numbers on a nightly basis, averaging about 10 points a game. Outside, Green. Back to Parker. And there's the feet to Green. He dishes it to Aldridge. A pass to Gasol. And a great assist by Aldridge as that one goes in. That's 12 points for Paul Gasol. And now we can see them really working it inside. Yeah, Clark, quality looks at the rim. That's fueling this run. Now here's Brown. Back to Zeller. Aldridge on him. Shot by Zeller, no good. Spurs leading by six. Outside, Green. He kicks it to Aldrich. That's good. Aldrich has got 12 points in the game. That mid-range jumper is just another one of his weapons. Good hands, and that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Here's Thomas. Outside, Brandon. Got it up, and that's not going to go. Yeah, nice block, Daniel. And the Daniel. first half is now in the books. Spurs lead by eight. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second <coughs> half. Now, Gasol, Pat. 
now the third quarter about to get going. We're seeing a tremendous game from LaMarcus Aldridge. Yeah, he's playing just a smart game overall offensively. Looking for and finding Come the on, Jamarcus. Get your fucking also rebound. Terrific shot selection. Greg, that's exactly what we're talking about when we talk about being efficient as an offensive player. Fully on display there with him. Green teams with Leonard on the wings. Powell Gasol is out there with LaMarcus Aldridge. And it's Parker in at the point guard position. That's the San Antonio 5. Spurs leading by eight. Gasol. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They got to find something. You're right. And it doesn't really matter who starts the break with how he runs the floor. He seems to always be the one who finishes. Yeah, he is so fun to watch and how he attacks the rim at full speed like that, man. It's, uh, it's something to behold the way that guy gets to the rim. Austin with the ball following the three-pointer by San Antonio. And Aldridge comes over to help. Double them up. Bradley kicks Double them up. Shot clock at six. Bradley, headed by Green. And he gets the bucket. Nine points for Isaiah Thomas. The rapid fire. Oh! Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying hard to get back into this game like this. Yeah, definitely a jam with emphasis. A, a big apostrophe or exclamation point. <laughs> How about maybe even a question mark, partner? Yeah, I would have to say there are a lot of questions right now from a defensive standpoint. That's for sure. Brown kicks to Horford. Back to Brown. There's the three. Rebounded by the Spurs. Aldridge has got his ah, a little too much mustard on the hot sauce. Takes possession. And now a quick review at the numbers for Isaiah Thomas. Second in free throw percentage. Third in scoring. And oh, he's Johnny in the top Turkey. 20 in assists per game. His talent for creating nice dunk easy that buckets side. for his teammates. Such an asset. And you never see him get nervous when he steps to the line. Smooth as a baby's bottom and as cool as a nice fall night. And that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. Austin making some changes. Yurebko's checked in for Horford. Gerald Green comes in for Avery Brath. And it's Rogier in for Isaiah Thomas. And it's out of bounds to the Spurs as San Antonio retains possession. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. The salt. And he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And Greg, he says, thank you very much, and sails in for the flush. And those are the kind of sequences that tell you why the score is what it is. It's stolen by Green. And Zeller kicks to Brown. And he goes in for the dunk. And guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. And guys, in a game this snug, moments like that are the ones we usually look back on at the end as a difference maker. Pass to Rogier. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Leonard attacking. It's stolen by Brown. And out of bounds as San Antonio gains possession. Yeah, good hand. And a chance now to look at the small forwards who have been dominant this season offensively. Second is Kawhi Leonard. A lot of the NBA's most explosive players man that small forward position, and you're looking at a pretty good collection of them right there. Well, I would go beyond pretty good, Craig. I mean, they are special. Special players at the offensive end. Impossible to defend in any kind of conventional way. I mean, you've got to be creative to try to slow these guys down. Now Lee after LaMarcus Aldridge's three-pointer that didn't go. And it's good. If you're waiting for him to miss when he's that open, you're going to be in for a long wait. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. You know, he just like every other coach. When the defense gives up points on the inside, and boy, are they struggling in there. Yeah, well, they're getting pummeled in there. So you've got to figure out a way to make some adjustments to try to change that around. That's why he needed the timeout. 
Here's what Boston's going with right now. Al Horford's checked in for Tyler Zeller. Johnson comes in for Brown. And it's Avery Bradley in for Gerald Green. Six to shoot. It's Thomas outside. And the rebound goes to David Lee. They are really getting the work done inside with their rebound. The defensive backboard has been controlled. They have not allowed a lot of second chances. It's been about one and done for the most part. And I'm not talking about leaving cops. Yeah, I know. <laughs> a bunch of good rebounding taking place there, boy. And Thomas over to help. And Simmons kicks to Parker. And another basket for San Antonio. <laughs> And I like the job they've done with working the basketball. They've been moving and getting quality shots. And, Greg, their field goal percentage reflects that. I mean, they've been the much oh. better team shooting the ball. And you know me, shooting percentage, always a function of shot selection. Celtics has the playoffs near. Let's take a look at the Western Conference standings. Take a look at the Warriors. And, of course, the Celtics. They're tied right now. And some stats here, guys. Better the scoring hit that for the Spurs. Simmons. Guys, the passing we've seen from them has been tremendous. Very unselfish. Yeah, and the other thing that they've done well is they've really attacked the gaps of the defense with quick, decisive drives down the lane. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Here's Lee outside. And the shot is good. There you go, TV. At least got five now. And chalk up a few more points for him there. This has been a one-sided game in just about every area. Absolutely. I echo that sentiment. Their offense, their defense. I mean, it's all been terrific. Gerald Green, he's checked in for Boston. Rogier comes in for Isaiah Thomas. Celtics trail by 16. Rogier, the pass to Green. Here's Rozier. Will it go? Here's Johnson. And he banks in the layup. Johnson's got his first pass. And you've also got to love what a forceful low post defender he is. If he blocks one of your shots, you remember it. He sends them into the stands to make a point. And Kevin, lots of standing around and, and watching by the defense that time. And he makes them pay, doesn't he, Greg? How with that emphatic slam. And guys, that'll get his heart rate up a little bit, I can tell you that. Watch out. He can be a dangerous player when his motor is revved up that way. Now, here's Parker. Pulling the miss by Avery Bradley. Green with the block. And he recovers it. Lee, guarded by Horford. Lee dishes to Genova. And he gets it to go. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. And that's a good strategy when you're on top. You've got to give them oh, a lot of credit luck. for the job they've done on the backboard. They've done a lot of things well today, but really it's about what they've done on the backboard that's at the top of that list. Come on, Johnny Bearfin. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. There's 10 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Rogier. Off target with his three. San Antonio calls timeout. Santa Claus, Santa Clara, Santa Fe. <coughs> Double-digit ball. 
Doesn't Welcome mean. back. Fourth quarter action starting up in what has been a one-sided show. Celtics trail by 18. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. Tyler Zeller out there with Brown. Then there's Avery Bradley. Then there's Horford. And it's Thomas in at the point guard. And Green gets it to go. Green's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Spurs. Brown, good. He's really done a nice job taking advantage of his opportunities in this half. Spurs leading by 18. A drive by Lee. Aldridge. And here's Leonard from three. Second shot opportunity. And it's Leonard oh, again missing. When he's wide open like that, he'll rarely miss those. And the dunk by Brown. Well, check assist. out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. For San Antonio, they've gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there. If I, if I <laughs> can say, it was there. really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. Yeah, I remember G.A. as an irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. Here's Leonard after the basket by Boston. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Spurs looking at the game Kawhi. for Kawhi Leonard. Nine points and a couple of great looking rejections. So far, two blocks. Yeah, you know, he's had a great feel for their ball movement down low and for where to be when the shot's going up. Celtics trail by 16. There's a whistle and it goes on Isaiah Thomas. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. And he gets it to go. You know, it's a plus to get good looks in the paint. And when you can get them, you got to score them. Kicks it to Bradley. Celtics passing it around. Brown the pass to Thomas. Back to Brown. Bradley. Oh, he got half down the three-pointer. He'll head to the line. Yeah, good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got Fucking to be more careful. Hell. Especially on the three-point attempt. I mean, you have to defend that shot without fouling. Now you give a guy three free throws. Amir Johnson's checked in for the Celtics. Spurs leading by 15. Oh! Putting on a show for these people. Are you kidding me? I'll tell you what, Mama always said if you got it, you want it. Let it fly. Let it fly. Mama said that, huh? So it's Boston now. After the basket by San Antonio. Lee with the steal. Oh, and there's the alley oop. And oh my Lee god. The slam. A little bit of a magic act here, pulling off the Houdini to make that catch. Stupendous, stupendous <laughs> alley -oop. I think the crowd is still stunned by that one. I'll tell you what, the defense has nothing to worry about out there with him shooting. I mean, oh, switch it. And the Spurs lead by 21. How's that for a one man show? Put this fellow on Broadway, self service. <laughs> the most magnificent alley oop he could have chosen. Yeah, and he pulls that one off, guys. <laughs> Slams it in. Rock hard finish there, guys. And only one hand needed for that one. Yeah, and sometimes that's all you need. And the foul called on Daniel Green. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, and you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Greg, those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. Sona goes on Isaiah Thomas. That will be foul number five on him. He's lost his concentration in the second half, and we can see that in the turnovers piling up. Before the break, he had just one. Now he's got a bunch. Here's Lee, and he pings it off with one hand. Three, 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 three,
That was, I mean, you just will not see him ever quit on a play. That guy is a handful. You've got to have a body on him, Clark, at all times. And you know what? Sometimes that's not even enough. He'll go around, over, or through you to get to the pump. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. And not afraid to put his body on the line either, Greg. He took a shot for the team in that situation. Back to Alden. And he stops it. What a pass to set him up. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. Thomas with the ball. Leonard picks him up. Boston, no good that time either. Anyone else, you'd expect a bucket, but that's not his go-to shot. Yeah, clearly a foul of frustration right there. Not his best moment. Obviously, no one on their team's happy right now, but you shouldn't be taking that frustration out on your opponent with a poor foul. Here's Brown. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Been a stellar outing in this one for Brown. He has 14 points, and all the steals he's collected only add to his impressive stat line. <laughs> Whether he's picking someone's pocket or picking off a pass, he has been a disruptive force out on the floor. And another miss. Oof. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have, you're right. There's the bucket. Good. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Lee kicks to Leonard. Back to Lee. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got three assists in the game. Tipped away. And it's out of bounds. The Spurs is able to retain possession here. 21 seconds in the shot. Parker, here we go. Stolen away. What? Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt there. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. Bradley's got the ball. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. So Boston going with almost an entire new group. Kelly Olenek's checked in for Johnson. Yurepko comes in for Brown. Gerald Green, he's checked in for Avery Bradley. And it's Rogier in for Isaiah Thomas. Yurepko. Can't get it to go. You know what? His finishing ability is not really at the level that you would expect from a pro. But he's going to have to start playing with more force. And I'd say that's it, guys. They're not coming back in this one. Nope. No chance. Not going to happen. That chance has long since passed with them getting back into this one. Forget about it. Al Gasol is checked in for San Antonio. Ginobili comes in what? for Daniel Green. And okay, okay. San Antonio will retain possession. Here's Aldridge. Aldridge can't get that one to fall. Boy, that's a surprising miss right there. He usually feasts on those wide open opportunities. Shot by Zeller, no good. He's always going to have a difficult time finishing when the defense is in his face like that. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. And they feel good about this win tonight, guys, defending their home court. I agree. Job well done. They gave these fans exactly what they wanted. Good. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass up. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Boston's getting some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. Passes it to Rogier. Nice spin off the left rim and in. And this run not really doing them any good at this point, as late as it's starting to evolve. Yeah, but kudos to them, Greg. I mean, the fight they're showing now, you got to give them credit for that. Would have been really easy to pack it in. Fires the three. And Ginobili pulls it down. Gasol. Aldridge dishes to Gasol. Back to Aldridge. And he gets the bucket. Didn't take their time in wrapping this game up. They came out with a sense of urgency. A nice ending spurt to polish it off. Once they had him on the road, <laughs> they started throwing haymakers at him. <laughs> the whole knockout blow.
timeout. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. What do you think, guys? You know, I I'm not sure why you call a timeout this late. I mean, the game is more or less over. I think they might just be taking a few extra seconds to enjoy the win. Is that plausible? Or maybe just rubbing it in. <laughs> That's possible. And so it's San Antonio easily taking this one. They poured it out tonight, Clark, a dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. I don't think they have anything but positives to take away from this win. Offensively, defensively, every aspect of the game, it all went right for them. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. Now it's time for the Jordan player of the game, Lamarcus Aldridge. Jamar just had to have 20. Russell, player of the game. When you made it, won't you tell me what that would be a four game win streak, twenty six points. Everyone on the team scored, okay, except for three people. Crazy good number.